Hey Aries, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. If you need information about my personal readings and um, everything else about this channel, um, check out the description box below or you can also visit my website nomadsoulwarrior.com there's a free sign up there that you can um, do and um, you'll get some updates from me as well as some giveaway um, information okay information about my giveaways every now and then all right aries let's get this started what do we have for aries in love to all my new viewers welcome and i hope you will enjoy this reading aries what do we have for aries in love Tell us more. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Queen of Swords. Five of Swords. Whoa. <laughs> What's wrong with all these swords? Knight of Swords. Three of Cups. King of Swords, oh, wow, the Empress, You're dealing with an air sign Aries, um, Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Coins. At the bottom of the deck, we have, oh, here you go, we have the Queen of Coins and the Page of Swords. Okay, okay, Aries. So, so Aries, there is this connection that you have right now where I feel like um, you want this very much. You want this connection so much that you are planning strategically on how to get this going or how to get this started. Mm -hmm. It could be that... Um, you need to speak up uh, about some truth here, especially if you have rejected this person in the past or you may not have been, you know, consistent or you may not have been very consistent in showing your interest, you know, to pursue this connection. And um, I feel that that is what is needed here. And you're trying to find ways on how to bring some truth on the table towards this person that at the end of the day it will not mar your um ego it may not make you look bad but at the same time um it would highlight you know the fact that you want to reconcile you want to get back together you want um, growth and expansion yeah in this connection with this particular person mm -hmm. and i feel that you're you're pretty much ready to talk about it Pretty much ready to face this person and um, speak your truth. Uh huh. For most of you, you may have already mentioned that. You may have already told this person that you want to continue this connection, I feel. If not, you're planning that out. But it is happening, I feel. Yeah, you will be um, opening up to this person. Mm hmm. But the thing is, though, I feel that since in the past, there could be some things that um, has happened here that wasn't really, yeah, that wasn't really very um, pleasing to the other person. It may even have made them feel, you know, stuck at some point, waiting for some time. So I feel that when you open up to this person, it would take quite a while you would feel like um, this person would be needing some time to um, process whatever you're telling them, process um, your whatever you told them um, before they can truly give you a straight answer. Yeah, Before you, they can truly give you that straight answer. Because now that you're coming back, the situation is, you know, the emotional bond has been uh, minimized Yeah, so far. Um, but here you are wanting to reconcile, wanting to spend time with them, but um, still in a very protective mode, you know. 
you're open to talk you're but then you're not gonna you're not gonna want to lose face here that's what i see which is good i mean yeah as long as you're putting up the truth on the table and i feel that you're doing that right now if not you will be yeah based on this reading this is what i see all truth all honest communications are out yeah it's gonna be out on the table on the table and um, with regards to your person though i feel that once you you open up to them there's a little bit of um coldness as well that they would show you and perhaps they would even appear a little bit more immature with their response but whatever they will tell you right then and there it's the truth of how they actually feel at that moment yeah and i feel that um since you will not be getting a lot, I mean, you will not be getting the confirmed response right then and there. Perhaps this person will tell you, well, let's think about it. Um, let's see how it goes. This is the way of this person to see whether you are really fully invested yeah, into this. Are you really true? They want to see if you're willing to prove your intentions here. Yeah. But I do see that your intentions are good. Yeah, your intentions are good. And with that, you will probably have some time to process this. You would probably start, you know, getting to know each other once again, um, rekindling, you know, the bond, basically. It will take some time. And um, nevertheless, nevertheless, the bottom line here is that even if you may not get the direct response which is understandable yes yeah if there's been a breakup you have rejected them or you may not have been given them the right amount of attention in the past making things right making amends is this is what is happening right now or what's gonna happen and i feel that when you come back your person just want to see how true or how truthful you are with your intentions and therefore you may need some time here to continue to work it out you know and i feel that it's gonna work well it's gonna work well and then you'll find yourself both of you be in that state of really wanting to work this out mm -hmm. because your person actually really wants this with you your person can see potential for this connection and nevertheless before you even can open your mouth this person already wants to say yes it's just that they want actions rather than that rather than just words or thoughts they want actions here and them not giving you the direct response is their way of giving you the chance to you know to see whether your words could actually match your actions here but i see reconciliation big deal yeah a big one let's see what's going on with this connection again <laughs> yeah so the distance that you may have had um in the recent past may have led you you know to gain some perspective here yeah gain some perspective for those of you i could also see that um when you open up to this person they may not take your words directly and there may be time apart yeah after you tried to make amends and um that is just saying that once you spill the be beans here this person needs time and space to process it out yeah but that time and space is necessary for this person to come to a concrete um decision yeah, but ultimately, it's reconciliation, I see. Ultimately, it's going to be that. There's some misunderstandings here, or there could be some misunderstandings when you open up to them and the way they would take your words. So just make sure that that misunderstanding can also be, can also be clarified before you go um, omitting again, yeah? Or before you... you take time apart yeah just make sure that whatever um um action you're really wanting to put into this um is made known you know don't give um blurry words or blurry 
um, ideas here. Yeah. Just be truthful and honest because I see you want this. Yeah. Although there's that part of you might be, you might be a little bit hesitant in in saying everything that you you want to say because you may not want to really be at the losing end here but if you the thing here is that if you want to reconcile it's more of there is an energy here that you are capable of actually eloquently saying those out yeah the words out that it's um, understandable by this person you can make this person understand your point that's just what i see here yeah? as long as it's, as it is based on truth and you will stand by your word that's that's the thing here and that time apart if this person needs that give it to them because this is necessary yeah at the end of it you'll find yourself together once again yeah you could even be married after that or you could be in a in a rather more strong type of uh, relationship okay advice for aries advice what do we have here? Navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. So if you feel like this is what you want, go for it. Um, whatever you want to tell this person to make, to make it known to them what makes you happy, go for it. Okay. Especially if you feel like this is someone that, um, someone that you wish for, go for it. Yeah. So if this doesn't really sound like your story, then maybe it's not resonating for you. But it, this is a very beautiful one. There is an Aries here who wants to reconcile or it could also be vice versa. Okay, so you pick your side to general. I will come back for you. So if this person asks for that time apart after you have come clean, give them that time. It is necessary. It is necessary for them to come up with a good answer for you. Okay? <laughs> I love this. I love this reading. It's easy. Um, I know it's going to be hard to open up, but um, you're heading towards something good. Heading towards something good here. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Mm -hmm. So all this um, thoughts that they have... They may need time to process this out as well. But ultimately, I, I see that this is a good comeback. All right? I'm going to leave it at that, and I hope this gives you insights, Aries. Uh, let me know in the comments section how this resonates with you. If it doesn't, check out your other placements, and um, you can check out my other readings for other signs. Those can also be insightful. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this reading, and uh, click on subscribe if you haven't. And um, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.